what is our greatest fear and how can we just get over it today on Awakening with Amy. Welcome back. I'm Amy Valentine, Certified Life Coach, hoping to awaken within you your creative power so you can just link up to more of what you truly desire. So today I want to talk a little bit about fear. You know, fear has so many disguises. It, fear is doubt. It's worry. It's questioning. It's overanalyzing. It's indecision it looks like lack you know and it's all those different forms of fear that keep us in prison it's an inner prison right it 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 keeps us from opening up to more opportunities and our greatest fear according to you know i think almost every spiritual teacher from today, from the past, is really our biggest fear is a fear of loss. Fear of death. And not just literal physical death, but the death of a relationship, the death of a job, the death of something, anything that we feel attached to or feel that is important in our life. And the way to transcend it, the way to get over it, is to not give it power. It's like Daniel in the lion's den. He was thrown in the den of the lions under false pretenses. He was accused of something he didn't really do, right? But because he knew the power of free will choice within him, he turned away from the lions and he turned towards God. He turned towards the light, which is love which is abundance. The lions represent our fears in the many forms, you know, doubt, worry, indecision, you know, doubt is like doubting our power, right? He didn't doubt his power. That's the parable. That's the symbolism of the story is that he turned away from the lions and the lions had no power to hurt him then. So the fe our fears only have power when we focus on them, when we believe in them. But if we just let them be there, like, like Daniel let the lions just, he let them be there. That's one possibility. You know, that's, that's our free will here. That is what free will means. It's the power to choose. Everything is the same thing, right? Like Abraham Hicks says, but it's what, from what end are we looking at? From what perspective are we looking? Are we looking from the lens of fear, doubt and worry? Or are we looking from the lens of love, of fulfillment, of abundance? And, you know, we really get to choose. That's our, that's our true power, is we can choose to look at whatever is happening in our life from the lens of fear or the lens of love. And when you look at it from the lens of love, then everything is for you. And you don't have to get trapped in the prison of guilt, of doubt, of worry. You can just embrace it all and stop giving it power to hurt you. Stop telling the story, stop complaining. You know, use all that to clarify, well, what do I really want here? What am I focused on and what am I getting? You know, it's asking ourselves questions and then just practicing and showing ourselves our true power. That to me is what we're here to awaken to. We forget our true power. We believe in the fear because we think it's real. We th and what is real other than what we make real with our belief, what we assume to be true. So assume your goodness, assume your greatness. How many things haven't you allowed yourself to experience in this life because of that fear of loss? 
you know, how many relationships do we get into that are limiting, that are toxic, that aren't good for us because we feel, you know, through the lens of fear, we, f we fear that if we give our whole heart, then we'll lose it. And, you know, when you really look at that, it sounds ridiculous. We have to get over that fear of loss. And the only way to get over it is to let it be there. But stop putting your focus and attention on it by turning away like Daniel did. He turned away from the lions, which represent our fear. And he turned towards the light and he was saved. So our salvation is our power of choice. And we can choose love or fear in every area, every decision of our life. So until next time, if you got any value out of this video, please subscribe, like, and share the video. I would really appreciate it and have a wonderful day.